told it's called. Looking for help here. White squash. Welcome back to Baldor's News on the Farm. I'm Patrick Ahern. This week we're going to talk a little bit about local, in particular local squash, and something else if you could spot the odd one out. We'll talk about that later. Baldor loves to deal with local farmers. We've, every year we're bringing on more and more. I don't know exactly how many we've got now, but it's close to 40 local farms we're dealing with. Bring in a plethora of items from A to Z, apples to zucchini, local, local, local. Take the pledge, baldorfood.com backslash pledge. Let's start now with Hepworth, upstate New York. Look at this great Zephyr squash. Isn't it wonderful what nature can do? Just puts a little green tip over there and a nice green stem here and just turns the plate into a, a dream. Right behind it, green zucchini. Nothing particularly special to look at, but it's local. It's juicy, fresh, full of nutrients and quite, you know, delicious. This little guy, I forgot what it's called. I'll come back to it in a minute. Right in front, this is the odd one out. This is the white cucumber from Taproot in Pennsylvania. Again, tastes pretty much like a regular cucumber. To put it on a plate, it makes it special, makes the dish that little bit extra nice. Over here, again, Hepworth Farm, their yellow striped squash, balance that nicely, and their green striped squash. A medallion of each of those on a plate just turns the plate into something wow. This, I love this. Cook it a little bit, parboil it, scoop it out, stuff it with whatever you like, some onions, some mushrooms, some crab meat might be nice. Bake it in the oven, it's gonna be available in yellow also. And we've got the round one, we call it the eight ball squash. That's coming very soon. This, of course, everyone knows what this is called. It's the Lebanese Kusa squash. Again, very similar tasting, different shape, different color, just adds a little extra special something to the plate. Coming on strong right now out of Jersey, the wonderful beefsteak tomato. Also the yellow corn out of Jersey and the bicolor from Long Island. Eckerton in Pennsylvania coming on strong with his heirlooms, with the mixed medley and the full size, and he's got them in those quarts, like a mid-size, that's the best one. Mix a few of those up in a plate, make a great caprese salad, heirloom style. Thank you for joining us at Baldor's News from the Farm. If you've lived through this, we hope to see you again next week.